Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in an everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. A Prayer for Today's Need Written by Christine Brown Read by Rochelle Alberti Give us today our daily bread Matthew 6, 11, NIV I remember the first day I stepped outside to feel the warm sun on my face after being stuck inside the house for so long. I had endured chemotherapy and radiation treatments, forcing me to stay indoors in the cold winter months and avoid any prolonged sun exposure as well. That's why this special day outdoors felt heavenly. Taking a stroll around the backyard had always been one of my favorite things but I never realized how much I would appreciate waddling out in my bathrobe and slippers and turning my face toward the sun. I still had a long way to go toward healing, but that day gave me hope. When treatments began, I saw this mountainous obstacle before me. I couldn't fathom reaching the end. It seemed too big, too scary, and too impossible. So I had to simply ask God each day for the strength I needed for that day. Then the next. Then the next. By focusing only on what I needed for one day, I found peace for what was to come. Jesus knows our needs. He always has and always will. While teaching the crowds how to pray, Jesus said, Give us today our daily bread. I memorized that prayer as a little girl and have recited it many times, but I hadn't noticed the version which includes the word today. Sometimes we can get overwhelmed with the big picture. When we focus on the problem ahead, we can't see how things can possibly get better. Jesus understood our tendency toward fear in the face of insurmountable odds. He modeled for us how to ask God to help us through each day. Reading Jesus' words about daily bread makes me think of the Israelites journeying to the promised land. They questioned if they would have enough food to survive. They even considered turning back. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. Exodus 16.4 God gave the Israelites what they needed to sustain them. In the same way, God will give us today our daily bread. The New Living Translation puts it this way, God will give us today the food we need. May we trust Him to be our sustaining source. As we join together in prayer, let's ask ourselves this, What do I need? only for today? Is it energy to get out of bed, strength to face what's ahead, peace at work, or joy in a difficult situation? Maybe, like me, what you need is to feel the warmth of the sun on your face, reminding you of God's goodness even in the worst circumstances. Whatever the need, 
let's bring it to our Heavenly Father and know that He is with us every day of our journey. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your presence today. As we come to you in prayer, let us feel the warmth of your love. We know that you hear us. You are a good and faithful God. Sometimes I get overwhelmed with the problems I'm facing. They are more than I can handle in my own strength. I want to pray and trust you to meet my needs, but I don't even know where to start. Lord, show me the next one thing. Give me what I need just for today. You are my provider. Lord, give me this day my daily bread. Your word says in Matthew 6, 34, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. As I focus on you, help me rely on you to supply whatever I need right now. I will not be anxious about tomorrow because I can begin each day with you. Thank you for offering peace, hope, and joy to all who call upon you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now.